Today found DJ Swimfins preparing for a big concert in her concert-ready fish van. Okay, let's see if I have everything I need. Turntables, check. Records, check. Fish van, ha <laughs> ha, check. The fish van was able to take DJ Swim Friends from place to place. She loved traveling in her fish van. Whoa, is that DJ Swim Friends? I love you, DJ. I love you all too. See you at the show later. Oh no, I got stuck in the mud. Uh-oh. It looks like the fish van is stuck in the mud. Oh, I'm really stuck. I hope someone comes to rescue me. Just then, Mittens came along. Hey, Mittens, over here. Hi, DJ Swim Fins. What's wrong? My fish van is stuck in the mud. Oh, yeah, you are. Maybe I can help. Maybe you can give me a push. OK. Ugh. Mittens pushed as hard as she could. But she wasn't strong enough to move the fish van. Uh, oh, sorry. It's all right. Good try. It looks like you'll have to walk to your concert. Well, I'm a fish. I can't walk on the ground. I don't even have legs. Oh. I need my fish van to get around. I don't know how else I can help. Oh, no. I'm going to miss the concert. Uh, don't worry. I'll go find help. Someone who knows more about being a fish than I do. Thanks, Mittens. Mittens went to find help as fast as she could. Fire Chief Grapefruit! Mittens? DJ Swimsons is stuck in the mud. She needs help. All right, let's go. Hop in! Yay! <laughs> Fire Chief Grapefruit drove all the way over to the stuck fish van. Don't worry, DJ. I'm here to rescue you. Yay! I'm stuck in the mud. No problem. I'll just get my hose out. And wash that mud away. Um, what are you doing? Well, washing the mud away. Um, I don't think that's how it works. Oh, yeah, you're right. It just created more mud. Why don't you hop in my truck and I'll give you a ride to the concert? Can't. I'm a fish. I can't ride in your fire truck unless it's full of water. Oh, right. Maybe you should ask Mayor Sourdough. He's a frog. Frogs know a lot about water. Okay, thanks. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay, DJ. I'll go get the mayor for you. Mittens went all the way back to town and found the mayor in his office. Mr. Mayor, come quick. DJ Swimfins is stuck in the mud. Hmm, stuck in the mud? She can't make it to the concert? No. Come quickly. Oh, you're right. This does look like an emergency. Don't worry, I'm a frog. I know what she needs. Hop on out and we'll splash you with water until we can get you somewhere else. My skin drying out isn't the main problem. I need water to breathe. Oh, yes. I haven't breathed water since I was a tadpole. Looks like solving this problem the way a frog would isn't what we need. Hmm. Don't worry, DJ. I'll find help somewhere. Look for someone who understands what it's like to be a fish. Okay. Mittens wondered who else would know about being a fish. She decided to ask Monsieur Le Fleur who else she could talk to. Hi, Monsieur Le Fleur. Oh, hi, Mittens. DJ Swimfins is stuck in the mud. I want to help her. Well, I could help her. You can? How? You're not a fish. You're not even a water animal. Oh, but I do know a thing or two about getting stuck in the mud. That's what my tractor is for. Oh, yeah. You see these big tires? They're great for getting through the mud. Hey, you're right. I'll get Petunia to deliver my spare tires to DJ Swimfins. Why can't you take them? Oh, oh, I'd love to, but I've got to pick up my carrots. But you haven't dropped your carrots. I haven't? Oh, wow, would you look at that? Oh, no, 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 they're dropping. There's only a couple, though. Maybe I could save the others and... No, 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 they're all falling. Uh, I have to pick them up. Petunia picked up the wheels and raced to give them to DJ Swimpins. But would she be in time? Apricot, you're on the scene guinea pig. DJ Swimfins may miss her concert. She's been stuck in the mud all day. 
I'd just like to apologize to all my fans, but I think we have to cancel the show. It's okay, DJ. We have a solution. You do? But who did you talk to? A fish? A lobster? No, a bunny! Package delivery! It's only been a few minutes, but I just watched DJ Swimfins get monster truck wheels on her fish van. How do they feel, DJ? Well, they look great. Let's see if they work. Amazing! And to think I owe it all to a bunny. You still got time to make it downtown if you hurry. Oh, you know what? I'm not going downtown. With these wheels, I can go someplace way better. Go, DJ, go! I'm relocating my concert. Tell everyone in town to gather at the hill. This just in. The concert is now at the hill. Thanks to her new wheels, DJ Swimfins could go places she'd never gone before. I'm so happy to be here with all of you. Earlier today, it looked like I wasn't going to make it at all. And now I get to play somewhere I never dreamed I'd be able to go. The very top of the hill. Yeah. I guess what I'm trying to say is, let's party! Yeah. Raise your hands in the air. What? Uh-oh. Oh, the hubcap came off. Quick, we have to turn off the water, Mittens. What? You gotta turn off the water. What, me? You gotta turn off the water. It's too late. Run, run for the hills, run. It's okay, I got it. Run for the hills. It was a sunny day in Kibble Corners, and Pants and Popcorn were out playing when Post Pig Petunia drove by. Hi, Pants. Hi, Popcorn. Hi, Petunia. How are you doing this afternoon? Oh, we're fine. Oh, well, that's nice. You know, I remember carefree days when I was a little guinea pig. You're driving off the road. We'd play all day, then my mom would call, and she'd say, Dad! Uh-oh. Oh, let's go check. Petunia, are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm quite all right. Where's your Melvin? It's stuck in a tree again. Again? Oh, well, I'll call Fire Chief Grapefruit and he'll get me down in no time. Hey, look out! Uh, oh, no, I forgot I've got all this mail to deliver to everyone in town. We can help. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> now listen, puppies, and I will give you all the instructions. <laughs> Don't worry. We got it. Come on, let's go. Yay, let's go. Oh, we can't go this way. Oh, yeah, we got to go this way. Yay! <laughs> Pats and Popcorn took their bags of mail to town. I'm going to put mine over here. Okay, mine can go right here. There, the lizard. Yay! Let's go back and tell Petunia. Um, excuse me, is that the mail? Uh, excuse me! Why did they leave it there? Fire Chief Grapefruit is going to get the post van out of the tree. Oh, thank you for coming, Fire Chief Grapefruit. What tree is it in this time, Petunia? Uh, right up here. Uh, how are you going to get it down? Oh, I guess I'll get a ladder. <laughs> okay, we delivered the mail. Well, that was fast. Are you sure you got all the houses? All the houses? Uh, yes, everyone in town gets mail. Oh, we'll be right back. Now this time, listen to my instructions. First, you need... <laughs> They're gone. Come on. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> Come on. Excuse me, is that the mail? I guess there's mail inside, Pants. Oh, yeah. There's lots of letters and stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Well, this is great. Um, what do we do now? Uh, I guess we just give mail to everyone. Okay, come on. Let's go. Pants and Popcorn picked up the mail and put a little bit of mail in front of every house. There you go. Some for you and some for you. I'm going to deliver this one. No, I want to deliver <laughs> that one. <laughs> the wrong mail was delivered to the hedgehog house. Uh... I don't think this dog tag is for me. The dog house. 
and the frog house. We got a postcard from our Aunt Bunny. We have an Aunt Bunny? Well, that's what this says. That's it. All the mail has been delivered. Let's go. Wait for me. <laughs> Fire Chief Grapefruit was busy getting the van down from the tree. So? Hold on, let me get one more ladder. <laughs> Popcorn, I beat you here. Wow, look at these ladders. They're cool. Hey, Popcorn, check these out. Oh, wow, look at those ladders. <laughs> uh, pants, Popcorn, the mail. All the mail's been delivered. Yay! Oh, uh, did you get all the addresses right? Addresses? Oh, you need to match the number on the mail to the number on the house and, and make sure everyone got the right letter. Oh, of course. Um, uh, be right back. Uh-oh. <laughs> and there they go, running. Again. Come on, we've got to go. I didn't think I'd get tired of running. Okay, come here, Pants. Let's check the addresses. Well, good. You're back to deliver the mail. Look, this says 10, and the address says 8. This is the wrong mail. Come on, let's get all the mail into a big pile. Okay. Oh, wow, look at all the numbers. Oh, yeah. Okay, this one says eight. Oh, here's another eight. Uh, okay, do you have any fours? Yeah. Pants and Popcorn sorted all the mail according to the numbers on the envelopes. Okay, that looks like they're all sorted. Come on, let's deliver them to the right house. Okay, this one. These ones go in here. Oh, look, it's from Uncle Bagel Chip. We haven't heard from him since we were tadpoles. Pants and Popcorn <laughs> delivered the right mail to the right houses. Here's your mail, Squiggy. Thanks! My new dog tag! I've been waiting for that. <laughs> this package looks like it's for me. <laughs> Mealworms! Oh, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> and soon they were done. Phew, that was a lot of work. I don't think it would have been as much work if we had just listened to Petunia's instructions before we started. Yeah. Hey, I wonder how she's doing. Come on, let's go see. Let's run! Yeah, run! <laughs> Pants and Popcorn still weren't tired of running. <laughs> Fire Chief Grapefruit has finally gotten the post van down from the tree. Hi, Hi Petunia. Petunia! So, how did it go? All the mail has been delivered. Yeah, and all to the right houses. Great work. Oh, and thank you, Fire Chief Grapefruit, for getting my van out of that tree. Anytime. And now I just have to deliver these packages to Monsieur Le Fleur. Hey, look out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, my van is up in a tree again. Well, we better go get her down. Can you help me gather up my ladders? Well, sure. I got one. I got one. Oh, <laughs> let's take them over here. <laughs> now, let me give you instructions on how to gather letters. Your, wait, uh, you need to stack this way. Th that's not a ladder, that's a bench. <laughs> Go, puppies. <laughs> bag of mail. Let's go. <laughs> this is the best bag of mail. I want to try. <laughs> No, wait, it's my bag of mail. <laughs> Stop pulling. Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, it got wet. It fell in. Oh, no, is it wet? It's a little wet. It's okay. Mittens and pants, mittens and pants. A kitten and mittens and a puppy named Pants. Mittens and pants, mittens and pants. Mittens, kitten, puppy, pants. Mittens and pants, mittens and pants. Pants was waiting for his friend Popcorn the puppy to come visit. Pants! Popcorn! <laughs> Yay! What do you want to do today? I want to help. Puppies are the best. Who wouldn't want puppy help? That's a great idea. Let's ask my mom. Mom! Yes, dear? Oh, hi, Popcorn. Hi, Mrs. Pants's mom. Do you need help with anything? Well, that's very nice, but I don't think I need any puppy help right now. Aww. But I bet if you look around, you'll find someone who needs puppy help. Yay! Come on, Popcorn, let's go. Wait for me. <laughs> the puppies ran to find someone who needed their help. Pants and Popcorn came to Barlow the hamster's house. Hi, puppies. 
Hi, Mr. Barlow. Do you need any help? Help? Yeah, we're giving free puppy help today. Well, I do need some help. I just got a whole bunch of new lawn furniture and decorations. I want to arrange them nicely in my yard. Can you help with that? Sure. Uh, put the chair there. I'm taking uh, Pants and Popcorn moved the furniture around like puppies. That meant chewing. Then watch out for that plant. <laughs> running around and not listening to instructions. Oh, careful. How's that? The furniture was a big mess. Well, it could be better. We're sorry. We get really excited. Aw, puppy help didn't help much. Maybe puppy help isn't organizing help. I'm sure you'll be able to help someone with all of your extra energy. Yeah, he's right. Let's go. <laughs> the puppies ran to find someone else who needed puppy help. And soon they found Fire Chief Grapefruit. <laughs> What are you doing, Fire Chief Grapefruit? I'm coiling my fire hose. When I put it away, I need to coil it just right so it is ready when I need it. Can we help? Sure. Let me tell you how to do it. Yay! First, you need to get a bunch of hose. <laughs> Come here, you. The puppies tried to listen to instructions and coil the fire hose. But they got carried away in another perfect circle and ended up playing instead. How did it go, puppies? Oh. This is even less coil than before. Uh, we're sorry. We wanted to help with puppy help, but we got carried away. Maybe puppy help isn't careful putting away help. I'm sure you can find someone who needs just the right kind of help you can give. Yeah! Pants and Popcorn were sure they could find someone who needed puppy help. <laughs> Pants and Popcorn came upon DJ Swimfins. Oh, hi, puppies. Hi, DJ. What are you doing? I was just out for a bit of a cross-country drive, and whenever I do, I lose a lot of water because it's so bumpy. I need to get some more from the pond here. How do you get it? Well, normally, Fire Chief Grapefruit helps me with his hose, but he's late for some reason. Uh, maybe we can help with puppy help. Well, sure. I've got some buckets there just in case. Can you pour some water in? Yay! All right, pick up the bucket. <laughs> so the puppies started playing with the buckets. I'm gonna stick my nose in it. And completely to forgot to, to help DJ swim things. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Soon, Fire Chief Grapefruit arrived. Sorry for the delay, DJ. Do you still need some water? Uh, yeah, she still needs some water. We didn't fill her tank yet. Don't worry, I can get it filled up in a jiffy. A little while later, DJ Swimfin's tank was full. Ah, that's better. Sorry we couldn't help with puppy help. Well, maybe puppy help isn't buckets of water help. I'm sure you can help with something. That's what everyone says. Pants and Popcorn were sad. We weren't helpful for anyone. I thought Peppy help would be more helpful. Oh, no. I need help. Well, don't ask us. We're just going to make it worse. That's too bad, because I was just about to bake that pie you like. <gasps> Nana Ribbit secret recipe pie? Yes. Except, I can't remember if the recipe is raspberries or strawberries. But Nana Ribbit's house is all the way in the woods. If only there were someone who could get there really fast and ask and then get back in time. Running really fast? Asking a question, then running back? That sounds exactly like something puppies can do. Well, what are you waiting for? Go puppies! <laughs> And so the puppies ran all the way to Nana Ribbit's house. Oh, wait, that's it. It is? Yeah, Nana, Nana Ribbit. Oh, hello, puppies. What's the rush? My mom is making your secret pie. But she couldn't remember. Do you use strawberries or raspberries? Well, that's the secret. It's both. <gasps> We've got to tell my mom Wait, come on! Run, little puppies! Popcorn and Pants ran back to Pants' house as fast as their little puppy legs could take them. Mom, Mom, we have the answer! Pants' mom, 
she back here? I'm over here, puppies. It's both raspberries and strawberries. <laughs> I never would have thought. See, turns out that was the perfect job for puppies. Yay! You're the best helper. <laughs> Popcorn, would you like to stay for dinner? Hello? Oh, I'll just call your mother. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! family are getting ready for a big event. Scarf, sock, mittens, let's get going so we can get a good view of the parade. Yay! I love parade day. Me too. It's going to be great. Are you packing the cat pops, Dad? Ooh, cat pops? I love cat pops. Cat pops are a frozen treat that all cats love, especially for parades, except... Um, uh, we have a problem. They're not frozen yet. When did you put them in the freezer? Just now, so they'll take some time to freeze. Oh, no! Dad! It's okay, Dad. I can wait and bring them once you found a good spot. Oh, that's very good of you, Mittens. Okay, we'll see you soon. We'll be right over the hill if you need us. Okay, bye. The cat family left, and Mittens played while she waited until she heard... Ugh, I don't know what I'm doing. What's that? Mittens found Monsieur Le Fleur, who looked very confused. Hi, Monsieur Le Fleur. What are you doing? Oh, hello, Mittens. I need to decorate my tractor for the parade, but I don't know what looks good and where things should go. Would you give me a hand? Why, sure. What should I do? Just tell me what looks good. I put these lights on my tractor. What do you think? Does it look good? The lights look great. Oh, good. Does it need anything else? Hmm. What if you put some bows on it? I love bows. Oh, I love that idea. Hold on. Okay, how is this? Oh, wow, yeah. That looks great. Now, if only you could do some balloons. I just happen to have some balloons. Hold on. What do you think? It looks perfect, Monsieur Le Fleur. My tractor is ready for the parade. Thank you for your help, Mittens. Do you want to come ride in the parade with me? My tractor looks so good, thanks to you. Oh, no thanks, Monsieur Le Fleur. I have to bring the cat pops to my family. See you at the parade. See you at the parade. Mittens was about to head back and check on the cat pops, but then she heard some music. Huh. What's that? It was coming from DJ Swimfins, and she also didn't look happy. Hi, DJ. What's wrong? Oh, Mittens. I'm supposed to play a song for the parade, but I can't make up my mind about which song is best. I can help. Ah, oh, thank you. How do you like this music? Uh, no. What about this one? No, I'm not... I don't... I don't even know what that is. I, I don't like that one. Huh, what else should I play? Do you have the one that goes icky icky wah wah wah? Oh, uh, when you say icky icky wah wah wah, do you mean this? Yeah! Oh, that's a banging tune for the parade. Yeah! I think that's my best choice. Thank you so much for your help, Mittens. No problem. Well, I should really get to the parade. Would you like to groove on over there with me? No, I can't. My family is waiting for me to bring them the cat pops. All right. See you later. Then Mittens heard another funny noise. It was coming from the fire station. Do you think the lights are the problem? I don't think so, Dad. Hello? Hi, Blueberry. What's that funny noise? Oh, Mittens, we can't figure it out. There's something wrong with our megaphone. Your megaphone? Yeah, it's making a funny noise. Yeah, I can hear that. 
I know just how to fix it, but there's a problem. What's that? We'd have to blow the dust out of the speaker horn there, and we can't get to it. Why not? Because we're tortoises. Yeah, we can't climb. Maybe I can help. I can reach. Watch this. There, try it now. Hello? Hello? Check, check. Mittens, it works. Well done, Mittens. Thank you so much. Oh, do you want to ride with us in the parade? No, I have to get back home for something. Uh, I'll see you there. Okay. Blueberry and Fire Chief Grapefruit drove away, and Mittens went back home. But Mittens had a problem. Okay, go back home because I need to... Wait, what was the thing I needed to do? When she got back home, Mittens realized that in all of her helping other people, she had forgotten what it was she was supposed to do. Oh no, I really can't remember. And, oh, what's that? The parade, it's starting. I guess I better just get over there. Hello, furry folks. I welcome you to the Kibble Corners Parade. <laughs> <laughs> Mittens' family had really good seats, and Mittens came to join them. Hi, Mittens. Did you get the cat pops? Cat pops? I forgot. You forgot the cat pop? Why? I'm sorry. It's okay, Mittens. Oh, quick! The parade is starting. Shh, 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 shh. There's post -Pete Petunia. Oh, and there's Monsieur Lafleur. Hi, Mittens. Thanks so much for your help today. What was that? I kind of helped him decorate his tractor. And look, there's the fire truck. Oh, Hi, Mittens. Thanks for helping us today. Oh, look, it's DJ oh. Swimpin'. Yeah. This one goes out to Mittens. What? I kind of helped her pick a song. It sounds like you helped a lot of people today, Mittens. But I'm sorry I forgot the cat pops. It's OK, Mittens. You were helping other people. We might not have even had a parade if it wasn't for you. Yeah, and parades are better than cat pops. <laughs> okay, let's see. I've got this attached here, and uh, yes, I've got some carrots on the ground over there. That's good. Oh, I've got this carrot wrapped in lights. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. And um, oh, I've got carrots on the back. Uh, I love carrots. I wonder if I have enough. I've got to figure out how to attach them. Hmm. Mittens is going to ride along in the fire truck for the day. But first, she has to learn the rules. Rule number one. I'm the fire chief, so I'll handle all emergency work. Being a fire chief is a job for tortoises. Okay. Uh, is there a rule two? No. Now you're ready to ride along with us. Yay, Mittens! Uh-huh. There's an emergency. Everyone, hop in. Okay. I'm in. Let's go! Fire Chief Grapefruit drove the fire truck very fast across the countryside. <laughs> yeah! Hi, Mr. Barlow. Hi, puppies. Eventually, they found Apricot. Help! My scarf is caught up in this tree. Don't worry, Apricot. We'll get it down for you. What's going on? He's gonna raise the cherry picker. That's where I am right now. And it will lift up so I can get it from the tree. Oh, fun! Okay, here we go, Blueberry. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Is it moving? No, is it supposed to move? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to go up. It appears the cherry picker is broken. There's no way to get your scarf, Apricot. We'll just have to come back tomorrow. But it's my best scarf. Without it, I'm just, just unfashionable. Ugh. Nope, no way to get your scarf down. But then, Mittens had an idea. Nope, I'm sorry, Apricot. 
We'll just have to come back. There you go. What's this? Go. Oh, you did it. Oh, no. Now Mettons is stuck in the tree. And with the cherry picker broken, there's no way to rescue her. Mittens, can you stay up there till tomorrow? It's okay, Dad. Mittens is a cat. She loves climbing. But can you climb down, Mittens? Not from here. It's a disaster! I'll just jump down. A disaster! Huh? See, Dad? Cats are great. Well, emergency canceled, I suppose. Just then, Host Pig Petunia ran in. Uh, Fire Chief, uh, Grapefruit, it's an emergency. My mail van is lost. Well, everybody, into the fire truck. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Make some room for me. Everybody in? Yes. yes. Buckled up? Yes. Yes. Fire Chief Grapefruit drove down the road very fast. How's everybody doing back there? I'm okay. I'm doing fine. I'm all right, too. Thanks. Let's go. Almost there. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The mail van was on the roof of the town hall. Breaking news. Our town's mail van is stuck on the roof of the town hall. Post Pig Petunia, how did you get your mail van on the roof? I, I, I don't know. Well, this is a job for the fire chief. <laughs> so come back tomorrow when I have my cherry picker fixed. Aww. But I have to deliver the mail. Maybe Mittens can get the mail. Nonsense. There's no way a kitten can climb up there. Sure I can. Yeah. <laughs> Mittens climbed yeah. on top of one building, and then the next. Fun. And then the next. <laughs> Soon, she was on top of the town hall. Yay! Apricot here with your breaking news story. Mittens has made it to the top of the town hall, and the crowd is going wild! Be careful! Easy peasy. Can you drop down the mail, Mittens? Yep, here you go. Oh, my lovely mail. I've missed you. Okay, now jump down, Mittens. Um, it's too high to jump down. Oh, no. This is a disaster. It wasn't very responsible of me as the fire chief. Breaking news. Mittens is trapped on top of the town hall. Fire Chief Grapefruit, what are you going to do? Don't worry. I have a plan. We'll get a pool and fill it with marshmallows. Marshmallows? Yes. Then when she jumps, nice, soft landing. Mittens watched while Fire Chief Grapefruit started filling the pool with marshmallows. But soon she got bored and decided to come down. She went from one building to another to another and soon was back down on the ground. Okay, Mittens, jump into the marshmallows. Oh, she's not saying anything. She must be too scared. Oh, this is all my fault. I will not rest until she's down and safe. Do you hear me, Mittens? Everything will be okay. Meanwhile, Mittens had approached the crowd. What's going on? Oh, it's Mittens. She's stuck on the town hall. She's too scared to jump. She won't even jump into a bucket of marshmallows. We have to get her down somehow. Whoa, you look just like Mittens. I am Mittens. Mittens, did you jump into the marshmallows when I wasn't looking? No, I just climbed down. I told you, Dad, she's a cat. I'm sorry, Mittens. I guess I panicked a bit. But I'm a tortoise, and we don't exactly climb things. I didn't think you could do it, because, well, I couldn't do it. I should have had more trust in you, because you're a cat. Everyone ended up OK and on the ground safe. Being a fire kitten was fun. Maybe I can be a camera kitten now. Oops. Uh. Wee-oo! Good, right? Wee-oo! You should come up and see this plant up here. Oh, no, we're fine down here. Thanks. Okay. Is this enough ladders, Dad? Uh, I think we need one more. Here, we have to take, take this one.
It was a lovely day in Kibble Corners, and Postpick Petunia is off to deliver the mail. Now I have my mail. If only I could find my post van. Maybe it's behind this blue thing. Oh, that is my van. Oh. Now let's see. Uh, ooh, uh, what did I hit? Here's your mail, Mr. Pig. I don't think that's... Oh, I don't remember a hill here. Ah, oh, there we go. There's your mail, Miss McRooster. I'm not Miss McRooster. Oh, wait, Petunia! She delivered the wrong mail again. I think she needs to cut her hair. Postpick Petunia is a long-haired guinea pig, and sometimes her long hair makes it hard to see where she's going. Whoops! <laughs> it's Postpick Petunia! Do you think we got that letter from Grandma? I'm gonna go see. Rush, rush, rush! Here's some mail for you, Mr. Rabbit. I'm not Mr. Rabbit, I'm Mittens. Oh, huh. well, you look like a rabbit. You're white and blurry. Blurry? Oh, yes, well, you see, guinea pigs don't have very good eyesight. <laughs> and my hair is much messier than usual. It's a wonder I can see anything at all. <laughs> but what can you do? <laughs> You should try one of those self-driving computers. The what now? It's a computer that drives your car. Oh, that sounds fabulous. I'm going to get one. Now, where is my van? You're in it. I am? Oh, dear. The next day, Winkles the mechanic had installed the computer for the mail van. There you go, all set. Here, I'll even program your route for you. Oh, exciting. Detecting mail. Next stop, ready. Oh! Driving. <laughs> Ms. McRooster's feed oh. store. Mail detected. Stopping. Okay, here you go, Ms. McRooster. <laughs> Amazing! Mr. Pig's hardware store. Mail detected. Here you go. Pretty fancy. Driving to next stop. Oh, you and I are going to be the best of friends, computer. The mail van drove to Mitten's house. Mail detected. Stopping. Hi, Post Pig Petunia. Did you install the computer? I sure did. It's great. Did our new ball of yarn come? Oh, is that what that big package was? It's in the back. <clears throat> Hold on. Oh, here it is. I can't wait to put it together. Ooh, I had to unload all the mail to get it out. Mail delivered. Driving to next stop. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Did the van just drive off without you? Uh, yes, look at that. There it goes. Uh, I guess someone has to go after it. I can do it. Where's it going next? Oh, the fire hall. Don't worry. I'm a cat. We are fast. Oh, thanks, Mittens. I'll meet you there. Mittens chased the van, but the van was fast. No mail detected. Driving to next stop. Oh, no. It's not stopping. Unless there's mail for the next house, the computer doesn't stop the mail van. Oh, <laughs> Petunia sounded pretty funny. Does she have a cold? No, it's a computer. We have to stop it. <gasps> to the tortoise fire truck. Come on. It's getting away. Almost there. Let's go. I can barely see it now. Almost there. Let's go. Do you think you can catch up? Of course. Come on. The fire truck chased the mail van. The mail van continued on. Ah, here comes Petunia. Monsieur Le Fleur's carrot farm. No mail detected. My mail? Uh, oh, my carrots and my hat. Don't worry, Monsieur Le Fleur. I'm in pursuit. Not going to tell you. Oh, no. My truck is slowing down. My batteries are running out. What happened? I forgot to charge the batteries. You'll have to catch the van mittens. I can't. I'm not even as fast as you. This is a disaster. A disaster? Isn't there anyone in Kibble Corners who can go that fast? <gasps> yes, there is. <gasps> no mail detected. Uh, hi, Petunia. It Hey, Petunia wasn't even in there. Pants! There's a computer driving a mail van. And no one's fast enough to catch it. 
You are our only hope. Dogs are made for running. <laughs> Pants chase the mail van. I got you, mail van. Go, Pants, go. Oh, hey, a tree. The mail van was fast, but Pants was faster. <laughs> if I catch up to it, what do I do? You have to tell the computer to stop. Okay, computer, stop. Confirmed. Stopping. Huh? There, look, it stopped. Okay, now what? Now I am going to drive it back to town myself. No more computer. Petunia drove the mail van all the way back to town. Mittens and Pants followed. Wow, Pants, you were so fast. Yeah, I was. I saved the day. That was fun. It sure is great having a dog as your best friend. Oh, thanks, Mitten. And I've decided the computer is not my best friend anymore. Nope, it's nothing but good old guinea pig driving for me. <laughs> good idea. Now, off to pick up that mail I dropped. Okay, see you later. Oh, oh sorry. Okay, I'm off. Any Petunia, be careful. Oh, uh, I'm being plenty careful. It's these other drivers on the road who aren't... Uh, oh, that's a building. Uh, say, these look like good seats. Oh, a totally secret snack. Um, <laughs> Who's there? Oh. <laughs> wow, look at this tree. It's got so many leaves on it. Look at this one. And this trunk is kind of neat. And oh, what's that? What was that doing again? For full episodes of Mittens and Pants, check out the links in the description.